All right, so here we go. We got the tribe on the blue team. That's gonna be Jared's Chief and Shispa, and they are facing against uh, Global Jam Purple Cobras. That's Bosco, Sparks, and Morgy. Looks like Morgy's gonna be taking up the snake side. Bosco on Dorito and Sparks in the center lane. We'll see if there's any changes. Meanwhile, Chief on the snake, Jared center, and Shispa on Dorito side. Do you remember casting a game with Shispa on center side? He did pretty well. And Chief goes down, kind of holding it down on this uh, little box here, but not not going to do quite well against Sparks. Morgan moving up on to the snake side, and that snake too, right on that kick. He's going to be able to get an angle here on Chief, but Chief is not careful. Chief was kind of tracking him. Oh, and it's trade. Very good. And now it's a 2v1 situation, and I hate how this game skips around like that. Uh, but Bosco is moving up very aggressive against this home player. And Jared goes down. Bosco able to get the elimination and I am so sorry for all these skips it's not my fault I have a really good computer and I just restarted it it's the game blame the game not me blame the player not the hater is that how we go sick miss 23 1 0 all right here we go so we'll probably see the same yeah same strategy here by global gym purple I mean why change anything else seems to be working Sparks trying to lay in that snake side. Morgy goes down almost immediately. That's going to give a huge advantage to the tribe. Bosco looking to make some plays on uh, that big, big brick thing. And he gets the elimination on D1 on Cheese Bus. Sparks moving up. He's trying to. I thought he was going to go over to the snake side. He's not. Both moving up the center. I didn't see that second elimination. And now, not looking too hot for the tribe, but he gets that elimination. Jarrett almost pulls it off, but not quite. Bosco able to be very aggressive there and get the elimination. Uh, I'm sorry I missed one of those kills. I'm not sure who that was. Oh God, it's skipping so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to calm it down with the camera control. I apologize. Camera's gonna be a little bit more static going forward. Elimination goes out on Chief. Chief? I think it was Chief. Bosco moving up gets two elimination. I believe that was on Chief and Chispa, and now it's just Jared's left at the home. I believe that's Chief, right? Am I wrong? I'm so bad with names. Hey, look, I got it right, Chief. Alright. Well, um, yeah, the tribe gonna have to figure out something else. Looks like they're talking to each other. Yeah, those, uh, they're trying to move off the break. I played this uh, map several times, and uh, yeah, moving off the break is pretty difficult. Morty. Looking for an opening. He has one. He has no mirror, and Elimination goes out, snake side. And now it's going to be Chief in the center. Didn't see that coming. Jared's moving up the uh, Dorito side. Bosco trying to hold him down. Morgy looking for a kill on Chief. And Bosco gets the kill on uh, Jared's, I believe that was. Off on the Dorito side for the Tribe, Morgi trades with Chief, and that is going to be a draw for this round. As Chief also eliminates Bosco on the D1. Alright, so we got some switches from the Tribe that I didn't quite notice. Uh, they're switching out who's playing where. Looks like Jarrett's went from center off to the uh, D side. Chief's button remains in his snake, and Chief took down uh, home, and it seems to be working for him. They're at least able to get a draw there. Good homing. Look at that. He, he delays moving up. Chispa almost getting in the snake. He's almost there. His mirror is holding him down. That's going to be Morgy. Morgy looking to move in. Morgy gets in the snake. Chispa, or I'm sorry, uh, Jarrett's also gets the snake. Meanwhile, Chief is eliminated. Morgy moving up fast. Jarrett knows he's there. Chispa gets the elimination. If not had been done by Chispa, Jarrett would have got it. And I missed an elimination here. Not sure who that was. Let's see if we can figure it out. Somebody moved up center here and got eliminated by the D2 from the tribe. Let's see who that was. Who would have moved up center? I believe that's Bosco. Oh, Sparks. Okay, so that's Sparks. Yeah, so Sparks tried to move up center here. So we're seeing slightly different play from both teams. Uh, the tribe kind of hold down their home while Global Gym Purple is willing to move up center. Morky gets eliminated by a Chief. It's 3v2. Bosco. Lockdown. Sparks. He wants to move up, but he can't. He's trying to lock down Snake Side. Cheese Book gets. Oh! Cheese Book gets eliminated. Sparks is also eliminated by Jarrett. As Jarrett moves up and gets that bunker, maybe this was the trade and the swaps that the tribe needed to make this happen. 
we have a strong Dorito player now coming from Jarrett's. Well, all right. Now let's see if uh, Global Gym Purple Cobra is, decides to kind of switch up their strategy here. Who goes where? Uh, it looks like the swap for the tribe is working pretty well for them. Four minutes, 27. Three to two. Sparks. Locking down deep. Morky gets eliminated by Chief. Bosco. Locked down. Sparks. He wants to make a move. He cannot. He is locked down. Bosco can't do much. Barks gets eliminated. Trying to peek. Chispa into the snake. He's going to be a quick elimination onto Bosco. Maybe not so quick. Bosco does get an elimination on his counterpart, Mir. And Bosco goes down. Chief's able to get him. Who does Bosco eliminate? I can't remember the name. That must be Sparks. Bosco eliminates. Oh, that's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Who does Bosco eliminate? I gotta, I gotta learn these names. I'm so bad. Ah, Bosco eliminated Jarrett's, his uh, mere counterpart on the D side. Jesus, stop skipping, please! Alright, here we go. 3-3. Three to three. Evenly matched. Jarrett's. Probably gonna be the one they need to worry about. He's gonna want revenge here. He tries to lane. Morgi, he gets eliminated by Morgi. It's a trade. Chief in the home. Chief's bud doing something new here in the back left. They are locking down that D-side. Chief shot gets eliminated by, I believe that is Sparks in the center. Now it's Chief. He's able to get the elimination on Bosco. Chief for Sparks. Home versus home. Both going to the same spot. Both know, know where each other are. Maybe they do. Oh, Chief understands where his counterpart is. And these are some strong home players. Yep, wave it in the air, bud. You earned it. All right. We got ourselves a match. These are some very even, evenly uh, evenly skilled players playing against each other's mirrors and just all around doing a good job. You know what? Since we skipped here, we'll watch from the audience. Because, my God, I cannot stop this game from going all around downtown. Sparks in the center. Bosco fighting his mirror. Morgie delaying. What? It cost them two eliminations. Come from Chispa hiding in that small brick. The insert to the snake. And now Bosco's alone. 2v1. Thinks somebody is still at that insert. He's fighting against Chief. Jarrett's moving around. Jarrett's on their side. Gets the elimination. That was a strange move. I think lag has something to do with that. They have not been playing that strategy yet. And then all of a sudden, just to go for it, seems a little bit awkward. Let's see if that was something they intended, or maybe somebody just had a, uh, you know, I'm skipping around a lot, so maybe they're skipping around a lot. Makes sense to me. Oh, and now I hear somebody else in the uh, spectate, so. Welcome, Jay. Welcome, Isco. Welcome, Cleve. There is a game currently on game. I suggest you either go to spectate or leave, but you will hear my voice. I am currently casting. Cheese spot in the snake side. Sparks moving up, gets him. Oh, no, Chispa, good defense there. And now it is a 2v2. They had the advantage, they lost it. Morgan goes down, that's from Jarrett's. Moving up to the D50, Chispa on pink side of the map. On Global Gym, purple side of the map, locking down Bosco. Bosco gets the elimination on Jarrett's. Chispa and Bosco in a 1v1. Who has the advantage? I believe it's Bosco. Bosco gets the kill. And from the D2, Bosco will go ahead and push it. 3 to 5, 2 minutes, 15 seconds. He has to rush. And there's a good wave, good sportsmanship. And Morgi gives a wave back to his teammate. Good job. Alright. Really evenly matched. This is, a good, this is a good match. Gets me excited. You can hear the difference in my excitement of voice from a very good match to a not so evenly skilled match. But you know, that's okay. We all gotta learn. I suck at this game, by the way, guys. Chispa. An early elimination goes out onto Chief, but Jared's kind of gets the kill as well. Holy shit, there's so many trades going on. I lost count of what's going on, but now we're in a 1v1, and I skip all over the place this morning. He eliminates Cheats. Chispa on the tower at 50 snake side. I am apologize for all those skips, but it looks like there was a couple of eliminations that went out here. Um, basically trades for the most part. It looks like, I believe that would have been Chief. Uh, eliminated who's playing that? Bosco? Chief eliminated Bosco. Oops, Spartan. Yeah, yeah, Bosco. 
And I'm not sure who eliminated Morphe. Elimination goes on fast as Jarrett's on to who should be Bosco. Yeah. That was Sparks. Sparks is playing the snake side. Four global gym purple warriors. Jarrett gets another elimination. That time it was onto a Bosco. Jarrett's counterpart onto the Dorito side. An elimination goes on to Chispa. No, Chispa's still alive. He's hiding down there. And I believe it's Chief that gets the elimination on to this last Global Gym Purple Players. Can't remember who your name is because I am so bad with names. Morgie. Morgie is playing center for uh, Global Gym Purple Pulpers. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Pretty good. One of these days I will learn your names. I apologize. Bosco. Fighting his counterpart. I believe that's Jarrett's. Sparks trying to put something on the Chief. Morgi. No, they're, everybody's fighting their mirror, essentially. No, Bosco was actually trying to get some crossfire. Morgi goes down. That's Chief gets the elimination. Sparks is able to make it into the snake. This could be huge. Ooh, Jared's is sneaking up. He sees Sparks. Bosco has to do something to help Sparks out. Chief's but moving up. Sparks doesn't know what's happening. Oh, he's rushing up. Oh, Lord, this is not looking good. Sparks gets eliminated by Chispa, and now it's just Bosco against Chispa. I did not see that elimination go out, but Sparks was able to get the elimination on to Jarrett's in the D side. I didn't see it, and I apologize for that, but Bosco trying to get this lane in. He has the advantage. Snake side's not a good place to be in in a 1v1. At least that's what I read up on, and that's what I've heard on Discord. <laughs> I don't actually know, but I wouldn't want to be in that situation, and there goes the elimination. Bosco getting a headshot. Got to suppress the timer. 25 seconds remaining. 5 to 6. Going to be a 6 to 6. This might be the last round. Whoever takes this one is the winner of this match, I believe. Or maybe they just draw the time and it'll be a draw and we'll go into a third map. This is a best 2 out of 3. Uh, essentially, best 2 out of 3. If, it, if you have 2 draws in a row, you just keep playing. You keep playing until somebody wins 2. It's essentially what it is. So... Who's going to go for the draw? Or that could happen. That's not my fault. I swear to God, that's not my fault. Oh, we missed it. Hey, what was the draw? Oh, Lord. God, I hate this game. Switch. That was a good that comeback. Was a good game. <laughs> that was a good game. So, so we have to play three matches now, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. fine. This is weird. like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, 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 I was going to say, I was like, yo, Bro, this, this snake they put is you so, at home? so bad to knew. play in one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah like, snakes oh, rough. I was really trying to... I was trying to play Snake. I was like, I can't do this, bro. Nah, no, because I, uh, I was like, yo, he wasn't at the home. I was killing the home. I'm like, that's not Chief at the home. Once yeah, I see you switch to the this home, my, I said, yo, you got a cousin here. Yeah. Yeah. But nice, nice. Yeah, I'm ready. I was like, that's yo, once I see Chief go to the home, yeah. I said, yo, play tight because he's in the oh, lane. Oh, nice. Dude, he's getting pretty good, man. It's got, it's yeah, no, nah, he does. He's going good. Facts. Yeah. He's probably doing better than me right now. Remember? Uh, right, soldier on, Bucket. Oh, <laughs> so, soldier Bucket. Uh, what did you need? casting, right? Yeah, and he's on the wrong thing. Well, <laughs> it was kind of, it was yeah, we, it was a draw. It was a good mark. The only thing you missed was me shooting Margie in his big old head. That's what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you stick your head out in the last two seconds? I hey, Solidus, because you gotta go spectate. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you guys, he got kicked out. So. You yeah. did get us on that one v three. I was like, I was like, ah. Oh. Y'all ready? I was like, oh baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Go. Oh. Come on, guys. She's like, oh baby, we still in this. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is gonna be match number two. First match was a draw. Uh, and I missed it because I got booted for being AFK. One of these days I'll learn my lesson. I blame the game developers. Personally, I mean, that's just silly. 
Anyways, here we go. Uh, looks like everybody's taking their same spots. Sparks. We're trying to get in the snake. Bosco. At that big uh, brick, I like that position. Uh, so when I was last playing this match, I actually, um, I was, it was like maybe, five, I did a couple 5 and 5, 4 and 4, 3 4. This was my favorite position to play. Really, really powerful position. Uh, you just have so much control. As long as you can have some situational awareness and stop Jarrett's from moving, you can actually, you can do a lot in this position. Where Chief is at right now, not a fan. Sparks moves up. And Jarrett is able to get into that Dorito. Bosco does the trade. Huge trade. That could have looked really bad. Now it's an even game. Chief has the advantage. Sparks moving up. Gets the trade. Now it's up to Chief and Morgie. I believe Chief has the advantage. He has much more room to move around. He has much more options. And he gets the elimination on Morgie. And that's why I just love this box so much. It's just so powerful against the home player. You can stop Dorito play from happening, which we kind of saw with Morgie. And you can... Uh, or not Morgan, whoever that, Bosco. Uh, you can stop Dorito play, or we saw with Bosco, and you can kind of sort of stop Snake play as well. But it's more important that you can stop home play and Dorito play. At least that's my self-analysis. Please don't take anything that I say uh, with any merit whatsoever. Jarrett gets that D1 immediately. We see an elimination going on Chiefs, but Chiefs were not able to make it. Now Sparky has an opening to get to the uh, Snake. Bosco has some room to move. He's not moving. Morgan. Trying to get his elimination, and he does on the Chief, and now it's Jared by himself. 3v1. Team's coordinated. Global Jam for Cobra. Very coordinated. Yeah, you get the elimination, but it's not enough before Morgan moves in and gets that pocket kill. And I gotta make sure I press this button. Bam. Alright, well, we might as well see it from these guys. Help me learn lanes a little bit. Morgan going to play center. Bosco on to Dorito and Sparks into the snake side. They have their same kind of parts. Morgan almost gets Chief, but not quite. Bosco trying to do something here. Trying to aim for Chief, home player. He does. He gets an elimination on a Chief. Uh, that's the tribe's home player. Meanwhile, Jarrett is able to get the elimination on a Bosco from that D1 side. D1 to D1. And there goes the concede button. Pretty early. Uh, I'm not sure who got that last elimination. I didn't see it. Oh, I think it was Bosco. Yeah, it looks like it was Bosco getting two. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to tell sometimes. Jarrett's. Finally in stake. She's buff. Looking to get in there. He has room to move. He doesn't choose to take it. He peeks out a little bit here and then backs back in. He had plenty of time to get in there. Jarrett's able to move up to D2. That's going to be huge. D2 is a very powerful position in this map, too. The, the, my, my two favorite positions in this map are going to be D2 and this big brick right there. So the, these two right here are my favorite positions, uh, personally. Um, just from my time spent in this map. Uh, that's about as much color casting as I can give you because I'm that bad at the game. Meanwhile, uh, that's Barky goes down, Sparks goes down, and the uh, Snake as well, and now it's a 3v1. She's but going to be able to move in on here and get the elimination. Oh, never mind, Bosco sees him coming. But Chief's coming in, Jarrett's coming in. Oh, he gets an elimination on Jarrett's. Hey, I'm speaking too soon. Maybe he's able to pull this off. He does. Now it's brought down to a 1v1. Bosco has the advantage. Remember, we don't want to be in the Snake in a 1v1 situation. Bosco has moves. He can make a move. He's making one. He's already at the D4, D5. He is moving up the field. Chispa is in a bad spot now. Wow, Bosco, way to turn it around, but he gets elimination, being way too aggressive there. He had a chance, and he lost it. But that's okay, because it's only a 2v2, four minutes remaining. So what I was saying, uh, here's, here's your color casting. Um, I like this map a lot. I love this position. See, this is what happens when you play the game a little bit. This position is so powerful to try and hold down the snake side. You can get here and kind of help them out a little bit, but I like this one. This is my favorite. God damn it. Keep skipping. This is my favorite position on this map. It's right there. That big grip. Trying to hold down Sparks. Sorry for the skips. Hold still. Who gets eliminated there? That's Morgie goes down at the center. Uh, Global Gem Purple's home goes down. Global Gem Purple's 
Global Gym, Purple Cobras, Dorito goes down, and their Snake Side goes down. Sparks, Bosco, Morgi are down, and waves all around from the tribe as it's 3 minutes 43 seconds remaining 2 to 3. I'm not sure who got those eliminations on that one. Let's see what Chief is doing. Yeah, I kind of figured he was doing this. He's really holding down that snake. We see the elimination right off the bat. Meanwhile, Bosco able to get the elimination as he moves from D1 to D2. Now D2 is free. I told you that's a powerhouse position, but not before Jared's able to get the elimination. And it looks like there was a trade here. That should have been Chispa and Bosco, maybe? Who got that? Was that Chispa and Sparks kind of kill each other there on the snake side? No. It was Chispa was able to kill uh, Morgi. And it was a trade there. So, not quite sure, um, like, kind of what the thought process is here. The lanes do work, though, um, that, those home lanes. And you see Morgan kind of doing the same thing as Chief, but he gets back to the home sooner than later. Uh, looks like Chief's bus trying to find an opening into the snake. Doesn't happen. Bosco able to get the elimination out of Chief, the uh, tribe's home player. Meanwhile, Cheese was playing that cake. Now he's trying to move back over to the snake side. He went back and forth. Jarrett's able to get an elimination on his counterpart, which would be Bosco, that D-side player. Morgi trying to play the center. Sparks gets eliminated. He never made his way over to the snake. Cheese put in the snake now. Morgi trying to stop it from happening. He almost gets the elimination, but he gets hit by Jarrett as he was trying to get Cheese put there. So really good plays there. Um... A lot, a lot of things happening. A lot of back and forth by Chief, but Chief just seemed really unsure of what he wanted to do. He kept going back from cake to snake, or cake to back right, cake to back right, you know, this cake to the can, cake to the can. And eventually he just said, you know what, now I'm going to the snake as the elimination is happening. Meanwhile, uh, Global, Global Gym Purple Cobras never really played on into the, into the snake side. They just played up the center. Morgy, moving up, they're doing it again. Sparks. Bosco goes down. Now Sparks plays it to the snake. Oh, God. Why? Why? Jesus Christ. I just got to remember to press the button. This is why you can't color cast with this fucking game. Remember, never color cast, because if you color cast, you won't have time to press that zero button. Oh, Christ. Can the developers please fix that? That'd be so nice. Right. Well, two to six. Just <laughs> gonna press it all the time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it a thing. Just press it all the time. God damn. You know, you try, you try to give some analytical review. You get caught up in the moment. You're thinking about what's going on. You're learning how to play the game a little bit better. And then you get booted. It's really frustrating. Anyways, doesn't matter. Big sigh. Big sighs all around. Jarrett's. Gets to the D1. Bosco. Off on the D2. I told you I like that position. D2. Chief gets eliminated. That's going to be an elimination by Sparks. Sparks moves into the snake. He's going to be able to get a bunker on Chispa. He does. And now it's Chispa. Jarrett's. It's a 3v1. Jarrett's goes down almost immediately as I say that. Oh, wow. It actually sparked out both of those. I didn't even see the little shot that's, that uh, that Chief's, uh, that Sparks got there. That was actually impressive. Yeah, press the button. Jesus. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Yeah, look at that, you got both those skills. Cool. Alright, here we go. I like what Sparks is doing here. Let's take a look at Sparks. I kind of like what he's doing. Playing the cake. Bosco gets eliminated. Oh, never mind. I don't like what you're doing anymore. But he does get the trade. No, he doesn't. It's 3v1. Morgi holding the zone. He might have to move. Yeah, he can't move. Oh, no. This <laughs> is not looking good. There he goes. He gets to move. Oh, he makes a huge move. Holding this, holding him alone. He almost gets eliminated on Chief. Oh, he moves back. That is going to be huge. 
Chief doesn't know. Oh, Chief finds out. Oh, Jarrett's able to get the elimination. Man, that back and forth movement between these these three bunkers was huge. He is almost able to get the elimination so many times on the Chief's head. Chief was like, oh, yeah, you know what? I know where you are. God darn it, you skipping thing. But Chief is like right here, like trying to peek, trying to do all this stuff. And he almost gets eliminated so many times. I saw so many shots just go right over his head. Man, that was good. Morty's like really, really good at shooting and doing them little shots. Like moving and dodging, juking. I like that. Let's watch more. Hold the home. He almost gets Chief. Oh man, he almost gets him. A couple times. Who goes down there? Oh, Bosco gets the elimination. No, no, was that more? Oh, he got the elimination. I just didn't see it. More gets the elimination on Chief. Sparks gets the elimination on you. Uh, that should be. God darn it, I can't remember your name. But Sparks gets the elimination on to the tribe's snake player. And basically, and gets the elimination on to Jared. Who's tribe's snake player? Uh, Chispa. Chispa. That's right. Chispa is the tribe's snake player. I'm gonna remember this one day. Press the button. Bam. Alright, here we go. Really good battles going on all around. Five to seven. Forty-eight seconds remaining. Remember, we will go into a map three, regardless of who wins this. It was a draw six to six on the first map. Or first uh first match, if you will. Looks like they're trying to log down more or hold down Morgie and it works. Morgie gets eliminated by Jared. Jared's trying to get a uh, fire onto this D3. He manages, or D4, he manages to get it. Well, he managed to put enough fire on there for Chispa to pick up the kill. 5 to 8 looks like this is going to be a win for the tribe, but I will not say anything just because you never know what might happen, but given that there's only 25 seconds and they need 3 points to make it a draw, Pretty sure Global Gym Purple Cobras is not going to win this one. Meanwhile, the Tribe can just basically play defensively, which they're not doing at all, and take this win. And now you got this guy doing that whatever dance break that is. I always forget that name. Oh, look, they're going to run off the clock. Good for them. I'm going to use the bathroom. I should probably let these guys know. They're probably going to be a bathroom break, I would assume. Anyway. That's going to be a uh, match. We're calling it match. So we're doing a round matching game. Let's just deal with it. Uh, so round 14, match goes to the Tribe. And it is currently a 1-2. So it's a draw to a 1, essentially. So. Wait, what's going on? Yo, um, give me two up. seconds. Can I, I gotta tinkle real quick. Hey, yeah, if you're tired, buddy, if not, go watch TV in my room. Just don't wake up your mom, please. Give me two seconds. Wake your uh, mom up. Because he's tired, and I don't want to have to wake him up. I don't want to have to wake, carry him. Wake, wake your mom, mom up. Wake him up. <laughs> wake him up. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me uh, do it. I will be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. We have 30 minutes till the yeah, next so team has to come in here, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh, that's fine. Bro, dude, I, did, I hit leg day before this, like right for like <laughs> 10 minutes before our game, bro. That was not it, smart. Was... Not smart. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, I wasn't expecting to play the the, the, the snake the, side. The snake? Yeah. Yeah. Mate, fuck it. I did, and one of the points where I had Chief and, um, yeah, Jar's shooting me. Jared. Yeah, Jar. I'll call you Jar. You're getting called Jar. Don't care. Um, Jar. I went, I went down on one knee and I just felt my knee go. <laughs> The whole way down, I was like, oh, that hurt. Hey, Jared, yeah, you're not, what, you're not related I, to I squatted into the, the god. <laughs> to I, like, I went no. like this. Like, he, would, he, would not be on my, he would not be on my team if he was related to Hancho. I was about to say, I, I swear I was about to say, I, 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 I can't I've lost all I can't, respect. All respect. <laughs> I can't stand that fucking kid, bro. Hey, easy, 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 easy. easy. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, believe you. Sparks got kicked yeah. out, so What's whenever you join. Huh? Where did what's your puppy kick spot? It's 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 glad to see you at your normal height. Usually you get every inch taller every time I see you. So it's glad to see you at your potential height. <laughs> Dang. Well, actually, well, how actually, how actually tall are you? Man, Why is I'm it like, I'm like five. It logs me out. So you're perfect. You're oh, exactly your oh, same size. I thought, yeah. I, thought I, five, I just picked you up. I'm five ten. Yeah, I was AFK, but I don't. I wasn't what AFK time? for you're five minutes. Fuck. 
I don't know why I was oh, yeah. that yeah, I think we're good. Fucking See, mine good. makes me shorter for some reason. I don't know. Alright, boys. Alright. All right. I, I, I get the fuck out of Good luck. Not a lot. Not too much. Goes down, gets a trade though on Basket. Chief gets the kill on nobody, I guess. But Chief was able to get the kill of Morgie. All right. I'm not sure who kills Sparks there. Oh, boy. who does kill Sparks? Uh, that must have been uh, Jispa, Jispa, Jared, Jared, Jared kills Sparks. Um, off on that D side, he's able to get the kill on Sparks. I think for the D2. Like I said, D2 is really powerful for holding down that snake side. Meanwhile, this big brick's really good for holding down Dorito side. I think they're my two favorite positions in this map. Very aggressive move by Chief, but I thought he gets the elimination. He does not. It's Chief able to get the elimination on. And it's somebody Sparks. Must be Sparks. Jared's able to get the elimination on Bosco. I didn't see too much what happened there. Hopefully I'm just gonna press this button. Anywho. Looks like the tribe's being a little bit more aggressive here though, but not in the way that we would normally think. Like if they're not really pushing out wide. I mean like you see Cheese was like really oh I guess yeah Cheese was able to get in there real quick. You know what I think it is? I think it's because of right off the break, Jared's is able to get that kill onto the snake side. It seems like they've really just honed this down. It's not that they're being... I mean, yeah, Chief was being a little bit more aggressive from the tribe moving into the snake side. But I think really what we're seeing happening is Chief is consistently getting this elimination. Which allows Chispa and Jared to be hyper aggressive. Yeah, he's just laying that Torito side. Elimination goes out. I mean, she's but you know moves and gets the elimination on a Bosco. Morgie picks up the D side, gets the elimination on Jared's, and now it's a two v one situation. Really good, uh, really good way to pick up the slack there. You know, you see that your D side player gets eliminated and instead of just holding non center. You move over to the D side. That was a smart move by Morgie. Uh, this could have won. This could have won a totally different way, but uh, you know. Morgie essentially sees that his uh, teammate Bosco goes down and, and instead of just keep rushing up the center, push off to that flank side. It's way powerful to be on the flank side as opposed to up the middle. I hate playing up the center, personally. I can't stand it. I mean, I like it sometimes, but most of the time, man. It's cool because you can be sneaky. Chief goes down. Oh, wow. Well, Morgie gets the equipment elimination moving up to that big wreck, my favorite position. Well, now he's just continually moving up. He gets the elimination on Chief's buff. It's trade. Jarrett's gets the elimination on the Sparks, and now it's Bosco versus Jarrett, and Bosco finishes him off. D1 to D1. All right. Two to three. This is map number three. Or, you know, match number three, as we can call it. And the tribe needs to win this one to take it home. Global Gym Purple Cobras needs to win this one to take it to a fourth match. Very evenly skilled teams here. Garrett's putting pressure on the Sparks. Morgie gets eliminated by Chief. I'm sorry, Chief gets eliminated by Morgie. Sparks moves up against Chief's butt and Jarrett's gets eliminated by Morgie. Both Morgie and Sparks moving very aggressively up the field. You can tell I'm getting tired. Got another game to cast after this. I'm so tired. What time is it? 9.38? Who says I'm getting old? I took a three hour nap today. What's wrong with me? Sparks. Eh, it's gonna hold still. He's gonna move up. 
Neither team can play defensive here. This cheese boat moves up to that small brig. That's probably going to cost him. That's not a good spot. I don't like that spot. Especially not when you have Bosco trying to, you know, put some pressure on you. Granted, he's shooting at the keg. Not quite sure what cheese boat is. But I'm not a fan of that spot. Especially now that it's a two, uh, 2v3 situation for the tribe. Now it's 2v2. Sparks gets eliminated. Now... Oh, I did not see that. Morgan got eliminated chief, and now it's a 1v1 Bosco versus Cheese Bud. Please don't go into that snake. I do not like snake play in a 1v1 situation. He doesn't. He's going to play more center. And he gets the elimination on the Bosco. But all I was trying to say is I, I felt I didn't feel too confident with Cheese Bud trying to move into the snake, and neither did he apparently because he stayed at the small brick the entire time while he was uh, essentially being pinned down by Bosco here. Granted, Bosco was shooting at the cake and not the uh, not the brick, but I just didn't feel like he could move there if he's being hit by home and D-side players and then has to worry about sparks on the snake side. It's like, it, it, that's too much to deal with. It seems like they're really trying to pin down... I mean, both teams really are trying to pin down that snake side. Now you see two eliminations to go down. Now it's a 2v1 situation. The Tribe has two, and they're just going against Bosco. But both teams seem like trying to lock down the snake player. Seems like snake player is going to be the real threat for this map, and which is why both teams are essentially trying to lock it down from both the home side and uh, this D side here. Get to the D2, lock it down. Stay at the home, lock it down. And then your snake player. Seems like both snake players are kind of focusing the home, but also just focusing the mirror. Which I guess is the right thing to do. It's, it, clearly both teams see Snake as being the, the highest threat here. Cheesepa. Gets into the Snake. Or he gets eliminated by Cheesepa, the Snake. And now he's free to move up here. Bosco not paying much attention to him. Trying to pay attention to Jared. It's Mirror Sparks gets into the Snake. Sparks knows that Cheesepa's there. He gets into the Snake. And now he's putting pressure on Bosco. Mike er, Jared gets the elimination on Jared. Now he almost gets the elimination on Chief. He does it's a trade. And that leaves Bosco free to move up the field. So that's kind of what I meant by the uh, Snake. is just a really powerful position in this map. So that might be why both teams are trying to focus it. Portapot, 338. Remain. Oh no. Okay, you guys saw it. You all saw it. I pressed the fucking button. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't curse. I'm, I'm honestly like I press the button. It's like sometimes I press it and it still does it. I don't I don't know. Anyways, looks like Chiefs, but it's already been eliminated. Same with Sparks. It's Bosco versus Mor and Morgy versus Chief. I don't know. Chiefs, but still there. But it's Bosco, Morgy versus Chief, and Jarrett's. Jarrett's gets the elimination, but so does Morgy quite pretty much at the same time. Now Morgy's in the snake side. Don't want to be there in a 1v1. Again, I saw that on YouTube once and it seemed to be the general consensus. You all saw it. I pressed the button. Press it again. See, keep pressing it every round. I got maybe I gotta move when I press it. Maybe that's the problem. Because I haven't been moving. Okay. Got both all the players still playing the same positions. That makes it a lot easier to keep up. Bosco gets to the man on Chispa. Jared's moving up already at the D4. Bosco trying to make something happen. Sparks gets the elimination on Chief, and now it's a 3v1 situation. Jared's all by himself. Oh no. Gets the elimination of Morgan. And gets eliminated by Bosco moving up that D side. Sparks press the button. No, he doesn't. You know, give him the chance. 5 to 6. 2 minutes, 15, six, 15 seconds remaining. Once again, if the Tribe wins this, that will be the game. And if Global Gym for Cobras wins this, we will go into a match number four. Three. Match number three.
first match was the draw. Second match, the tribe. Took it. Wait. Actually, I'm not sure what match. Huh, my memory is so bad, I don't know who's playing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, did we play two matches? I can't remember. We gotta have played two, right? It's been... It's 9.43. We started at 9. Yeah, we played two. Yeah. Ah, I don't know anymore. I'm pretty sure if the Tribe wins this one, they win. And if Global Gym Purple wins, then we got one more to go. I, I I should probably put a score counter up here because my memory is so bad. There, there's something going here. Anyways, Chispa. Oh, he goes out wide. Almost gets hit by Morky. He's playing in the back right. Uh, he's played this a couple of times this game, but it's never really worked out. Uh, a lot of times he ends up going back and forth. You see, he's trying to put some pressure on the Morky. Morky gets the elimination. Sparks. It's a trade. Sparks is kind of by himself, but he's going to be able to have some movement. Uh, some room to move here. Bosco getting pinned down by Chief. Sparks is able to move up to that wedge. He's going to put pressure on Jarrett. Jarrett has to back down. Bosco has an opening to move. Not before Chief is putting... Yeah, Chief is having a hard time here. He doesn't know where Sparks is. Now he has a beat on him. Sparks is, or Chief is trying to get into the snake side to pick up where uh, Chief's ball left off. He gets the elimination on the Sparks. And now he's in the snake. It's a 2v1. Bosco knows that Chief is there. Gets the elimination. It's a trade. Huh. Very interesting. Uh, something something analysis. 5 to 8. 50 seconds. Something something insightful to say. Something something. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> uh, sparks. Gets eliminated off the break. There's going to be a huge advantage. Chief's but moving very aggressively. Gets a trade on a Morgie. And now we have Jarrett and Bosco fighting 1v1 another. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize Chief was still alive. Uh, I thought that was a 1v1. But Bosco and Jarrett go toe-to-toe -to -toe as Chief just kind of picks up the easy kill. I could have sworn Chief got eliminated. Weird. I better press this button. Sparks playing that back left. Trying to do what Chispa did earlier. I do not like that back left corner. Chispa gets eliminated by Bosco. Bosco gets eliminated by Jarrett. And Morgie moving up the center. Trying to do this 1v1. Now we have a true 1v1. I'm not sure who took out Chief. Oh, Morgie gets shot in the face. Who took out Chief? That should have been... Oh, is it Morgie took out Chief? Uh, Morgie from Global Gym for Cobra's Pink Team took out Chief from the Tribe Blue Team. Cool. 5 to 10. 18 seconds remaining. Tribe is looking like they're going to win. They're already giving themselves fist bumps. Uh, first match was a draw. Second match was the Tribe. And this is the third match should go to the Tribe. one one Wait, what? That should have been the end of the match, I believe. The end of the game. Yeah, there you go. GG's, boys. GG's. GG's, guys. Did, every, did everybody uh, get the scores and the, the kills? Yeah, I, I...